interesting season on the Camino and for us here at Oasis Trail Spain. We've seen fewer pilgrims this year, but it has also given us the unique opportunity to really invite them into our lives. Um, some have joined us for community lunch on Wednesday, church on Sunday. We've taken a few to the monastery to check it out. And also um, we've gone for hikes up to the castle in the evenings. And so we just see God's hand in all of it and how he is faithful to continue to bring us people who, who have been genuinely um, hungry with soft hearts and really searching for the truth. At the same time, um, our volunteers right now, we have three of them. They are living in the guest house with Rochella and myself. And we have seen this, um, yeah, a beautiful form of discipleship come out of it where it goes beyond meeting together once a week or beyond the carpet time in the morning um, to, to a lifestyle discipleship where, where it's just happening during the day in very natural ways as we go about doing life together. And that gives us a glimpse of, of the future with the monastery and the vision that we have for that kind of community where it is lifestyle discipleship, where we are um, following Jesus together. And we want to invite all sorts of people into that, whether it's pilgrims or volunteers. Um, so yeah, we've had a taste of it and it's been really good. And we're really excited uh, for what's to come. So here we are in the garden of Barbary Monastery the building that we were able to acquire in February with all the donations from everybody around the world. And so it's been great to work in it, to grow tomatoes, to clean up the building. What's before us are the renovations of the ground floor, this floor where I'm standing now. And I'm very excited to share with you that we've received enough to start these renovations. It's about a 600 square meter uh, space on this ground floor with lots of potential and spaces together for people. Um, there will be a big kitchen in there, communal spaces, uh, bathroom facilities. In the next few days, I will be signing a contract with the architect that will start the whole process. Licenses will be um, applied for and physical work will start in the first month of 2021. While the ground floor is being renovated, we believe that God will provide more funds to continue to work with the floors above here after that. There's three more floors and the renovation of these floors will total another 600,000. But we trust God as he has been faithful to provide and that we can work with what he has given. Yesterday I was sharing with a pilgrim our story. Pilgrims often ask about our story. How did you come here? And I told everything that had happened over the last few years and how we had a dream, um, a vision given by God already in Australia like five, six years back of a spiritual community and a big building and a garden and I could tell them it's there now. I could point at it. It's it's ours. We, God has given it to us. We were able to buy it. And that's so special. And I'm so blessed by it. And it's so beautiful what we experiencing here, what we see God doing in Spain and in the north of Spain and specifically here in this little village and on the Camino where we are active. And um, as we've shared before of what is happening right now, that's something so unique and special. To taste and see that God is good is something that I would really love to share with more people and maybe with you. And so I just want to ask you to pray and see how God wants to involve you in all this. It can be financially, it can be in prayer, it can be by coming. Um, yeah, I really want to encourage you to, to see if God is stirring your heart through any of this, what we share with you or how you have been involved with us in the past. And uh, yeah, come and see for yourself what God is doing because it's amazing.